love peace light and blessings so family welcome back to the channel if you're new to the channel welcome welcome my name is jazz if you're one of my a one day one subscribers shout out to you spiritual gangsters your original soul this is going to be a collective love reading for the sign of libra if you have libra in your sun moon rising and or venus placements these messages should could or would apply to you please only take what resonates with your intuition and leave the rest behind tap in we're gonna see what's good with tea with the love energies surrounding libra game please don't forget to like share subscribe and comment as well so family thank you god thank you angels thank you ancestors thank you ascended masters mother god father god i ask that you utilize me as a humble vessel fill us up with divine love divine light divine intuition divine lessons divine blessings and divine guidance for myself and for the collective of libras i ask that you fill us up until we overflow mentally spiritually physically and emotionally Ashe, all right libra let's see what's this what's this all right let's see what's this oh we got playfulness leo got playfulness are you dealing with the leo here libra Leo got playfulness and I strongly felt like they had somebody in their life that can literally get out the window, Spikes, that could literally make them smile nonstop. <laughs> so the card says laughter is the best therapy. Have some fun together and remember love is the greatest healer. So I do feel like you are currently encountering a very similar like energy where somebody knows how to put a smile on your face here, Libra. They do a damn good job at it as well. Um, somebody knows exactly what makes you happy. And they pride themselves on doing just that. Those little things. Those big things. Somebody genuinely just wants to see a smile on your face. Because to see you smile, it makes them happy. He just like to be seen. Y'all see that shit? He's so... He just gotta be seen. You know? like my dog is in your face sorry y'all but if you look at the card too it looks like somebody is whispering something in her ear and i definitely feel like there is that playful energy where you act a little child like or here's this individual that brings out your inner child and it makes you feel very very youthful it makes you feel very very innocent there is something extremely innocent about your connection here libra it's very very childlike <laughs> it's very very um adolescent is what i just heard so this could be somebody maybe that you knew from the sandbox days as well this could be somebody that you grew up with somebody you went to school with somebody from from around the way somebody like i said somebody you grew up with and there's such a playful energy surrounding the dynamic and if you did not know this person from the sandbox days then they give you that energy you know what i'm saying you get around somebody and it's like i know you or i feel like i do there's a strong familiarity surrounding your connection here, Libra. It's like you you may not know the flesh, but you recognize somebody's soul here. Let's clarify this playfulness. So we have the eight of wands. This is that laughter. Somebody genuinely loves to see you smile or just loves to see you happy. Because in this particular depiction of the Eight of Wands, the form of communication or the love language, is what Spirit just said, is acts of service or um yeah acts of service like somebody likes to do things for you go out of their way even if that comes in a form of like sense of humor but i just see two people who can literally chop it up for a long periods of time two people where time don't exist once y'all start having a conversation you blink your eyes been three four hours with this eight of wands energy you have very very great communication skills with somebody else and that's why i feel so safe that's why i feel so secure because somebody kind of gets you here they get your playful side they get your serious side they get your intellectual side here with the eight of wands somebody really really gets you here libra and I think spirit wants you to enjoy this energy that puts this big smile on your face. Enjoy this person that has such a beautiful sense of humor is what I feel. And I feel like Libra, you're also going to start or begin to experience 
that particular love language where you're going to have somebody in your life that contributes to a relationship through acts of service, giving you things, spoiling you with things, um, showing you gestures that require them to anticipate your needs or surprise you in a sense. I don't know why with this particular Eight of Wands, Libra, somebody is definitely um, going to be letting you know very soon the plans that they have made for Valentine's Day. And I don't think that somebody might be very playful and you might not take them serious but the plans that they made they serious you know what i'm saying like they took their time they thought about it and i do feel this energy of them telling you like eventually leading up to the day or the day of like we got all this shit to do from the morning to the night time like they got you they thought about you they planned that shit out and eventually they're gonna tell you you know i do feel this um energy of somebody really really understanding your needs and your wants here libra What's this eight of wands? What's the communication? So they want to talk about some things that may possibly have them confused. You got the hangman that jumped out there. They want to talk about some things that have the both of you guys confused. They want to address or confront some possible things that have you guys uh, feeling a little skeptical, unsure, or um, I just heard I can't quite put my finger on it. So they want to address some things that both of you guys can't quite put your finger on. They want to approach some conversations here where I feel like you might have thoughts, they might have thoughts that haven't been shared yet. They want to share their thoughts with you, share some things that they've been thinking about, some things that have had them hanged up, you know what I'm saying? Uh, meaning like they can't get it out their mind. The hangman is constantly processing this thought. The hangman is constantly overthinking, overanalyzing this 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 thought or this situation, whatever the hangman is going through. So there is something that um, your person of interest or you here, Libra, just kind of feels hung up about. You don't know necessarily how to approach this conversation with your person of interest. I think that you genuinely just want to let them know what's been on your mind. Well, what's been, what is the hangman thinking about? Spirit. The hangman is thinking about the high priestess. This is telling me that this is telepathy. This is a spiritual connection. This is spiritual communication. You got the eight of wands, you got the hangman, and you got the high priestess. Now, your overall energy is playfulness. This is telling me that somebody be having fun with the shit. Whether they astral travel to you, whether they have strong telepathy game, they telepathy game strong. Whatever this is, somebody is definitely utilizing their spiritual gifts here and i do feel this strong cerebral mental connection somebody who can hold a tongue with you stand toe to toe with you intellectually here with the eight of wands but with the hangman to the high priestess this person is in your head here libra if you've ever wondered why they know exactly what to do how to do it what to say how to say it this person is a very, very, very spiritual being. Pisces did jump out there. What's up, Pisces? Introduce your shit. Welcome to the reading. You could possibly be dealing with a Pisces or somebody embodying that spiritual high priestess-like energy. And I feel like the high priestess intuitively always knows your next move. For some odd reason here, Libra, you're dealing with somebody who is... um. They got a nice little spiritual rank is what I feel, but a very, very light potion to it. So they have divinity anointed in their DNA coding. That tells me that this could be an earth angel essential way, but or somebody that you just spiritually contracted to come to earth and have it the fuck up with. Have fun, play, cut the fuck up with, you know what I'm saying? So that's why it feels so familiar. With this eight of wands, spirit says this person can literally finish your sentences. It feels so familiar. With the hangman, it genuinely feels like they are constantly in your head or in your thoughts. Or it's like you hear this person communicating with you sometimes. Whether you're this high priestess or this is the energy that your person is embodying, I feel two high vibrational beings having these shared abilities to be away from each other, but not really. You could be over here and they could be over there, Libra, but not really. <laughs> With the hangman for the high priestess. It's like physically, yeah, but not really. <laughs> like it's really, really, you know? Let's put one on this high priestess to the hangman. What is this energy here, spirit? What is the high priestess to the hangman, y'all? That was way too many. 
and I'm not gonna look at them either. We gonna put them right on back. What is the high priestess to the hangman head spirit? I feel like the divine masculine is the hangman, whoever that is, and it's dynamic, and the divine feminine is the high priestess. And the high priestess is just as quiet, right? The hangman is quiet because he's confused. The high priestess is quiet because she's not. <laughs> and it's just like two polar opposite energies where it's like the hangman is hush hush because he's utterly confused. He's just taking the time to process some shit. The high priestess is hush hush because she ain't. Everything she need to process is right in front of her. But these two quiet, mysterious, moving silence like energies somehow have connected somehow get each other somehow understand each other's sense of humor love language spirituality intellectual capability all of that it's beautiful i like it what's the hangman to the high priestess and i feel like the high priestess just told me jazz he could be quiet all he want i still know what's up <laughs> Like, something about, like, somebody could be quiet, somebody could be hush-hush, and Libra, I feel like you just still know what's good. You still know what's tea. Y'all are tapped into each other's, like, brains on some real shit. It's very, very, very connected. Like, it's very connected. I'm gonna say the sunset is so beautiful right now, y'all. It's so pretty. So, we got the King of Wands clarifying the hangman to the high priestess. We got the Hierophant at the bottom of the deck. There go her baby. There goes my baby. I told you, this is some like high vibrational. Two high vibrational people. Let's get into this King of Wands though. One time for the one time. The hangman is thinking about passion. But I feel like there's something about the high priestess that is the forbidden fruit. When I see the Hierophant, the hangman is, come on now, spirit, let's get it. The hangman is trying to think about how to embody her baby, you know, how to become this Hierophant, how to change his ways, change her name, okay, honey? Like, the hangman is, like, as, much, as passionate as somebody feels towards you, it's just some type of uh, respect that they have for you that makes them really, really confused sometimes. Um about even communicating passionate like energy something about them play too much they very playful here as well i want to pull the higher font but i want to let him come out her little baby peeked through and was like what hangman what king of wands <laughs> like what her little baby poked his head out there and was like what nigga? what am i clarifying the king of wands mm. oh we got the queen of swords a lot of energies in this reading we got gemini libra aquarius we got aries leo sagittarius we got pisces hmm. there's a lot of energies in this reading the king of wands to the queen of swords please sir yeah we got the five cups all right so this king of wands did not know your love language at one point in time It was hard for him to get into your head at one point in time with the Queen of Swords. But I feel like once this person figured out their entrance, once this or once you allowed this person access to you wholeheartedly, somehow, some way, this Queen of Swords let her guard down and she softened and she became this high priestess where she understands that the physical guard has no comparison. To the spiritual guard spear says say that again jazz because that's gonna give somebody chills it's gonna resonate way more than love the physical guard that you put up here as a queen of swords because the queen of swords you could look at her and you could tell she don't play that shit right it ain't in comparison to this spiritual guard the high priestess looks fragile vulnerable naive but she ain't though so pay attention to how you have shifted here libra you used to have this physical guard up and now you trust so much in spirit you trust so much in your growth you trust so much in your evolution that you've eliminated this physical guard that's been put up and you've softened into your yin your feminine energy and that is 
what substituted the physical guard that you gave away you gave it away for this spiritual protection this spiritual guard where you know any and everybody that's coming into your life from this point forward is ordained is assigned is divine you know so the queen of swords is somehow softening into this high priestess where she can put her sword down now and rely on her intuition she she doesn't have to uh put her mind in her heart's position nor does she have to put her heart in her mind's position she just gotta play her position is what spirit says let's go ahead and get y'all closing energy here libra because i just felt like it was going into y'all know jazz get into her little first lady flow let's go and i just felt like i just started like first lady flowing and shit <laughs> like i don't know <laughs> we about to go ahead and get y'all closing message here libra spirit what is the closing energy for my libras in love sun moon rising and venus placements here spirit what's the closing energy my Libras in love. All right. So it says, have faith. Trust your faith in this situation. Didn't I say both of y'all are very spiritual people? Here's the hangman and here's the high priestess. Both of them be all up in their head. Meaning both of y'all are truly tapped into something. <laughs> the most high. Have faith, whatever it is, whatever outcome that you want. Spirit wants you to remember who you pray to. Remember who you believe in. Remember who you're going to to ask for these things. How powerful is she or he, you know? Have some type of faith about your love life. Have some type of faith about where it's going. And never lose sight of that here, Spirit says. <clears throat> When we honestly believe things will work out, our faith will confidently see us through. The angels are with you and divine support is something you can have complete faith in. Simple truths will give you the answers you are looking for. Love is an act of faith. It can be challenging to move forward when you aren't sure what the outcome will be. Stay present with whatever is in front of you right now. Your competence and ability may provide the calm and confidence you need to keep going. You may have doubts or fear when you take a step forward or make a decision, but faith gives you the courage to continue. Even setbacks can impart valuable knowledge, experience, and positive. A fairy holds onto ribbons attached to a multitude of butterflies and is hoisted into the air. Butterflies usually signify a transformation is taking place. They can also be a symbol of your soul or the essence of who you are. Just as the fairy safely and confidently floats over the expansive landscape below, you will move calmly through the situation at hand. Remember, a little faith is all you need right now. Faith over everything is what I just heard uh, for you, Libra. <laughs> I send you guys eternal love, peace, light, and blessings. If you would like to book a personal reading with me, all my information is down low in the description box below. If you would like to shop the spiritual store, we currently have our herbal infused goddess bubble bath sold with the herbal bath salts in stock. We also have our um, sacred sage spray in stock and we do have our Ashea Away oil in stock. We have energy and namaste candles in stock. Unfortunately, we did sell out of the I Shade Away candle and the self-love candle, but you can definitely subscribe to our email list on the website so that way you will be firstly notified when everything is back in stock. I send y'all love, peace, light, and blessings. Until next time, please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and comment. Mwah!